Hello students, I am Sharanya Babu, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, AG Institute of Engineering and Technology, Mangaluru. Uh, today we will be continuing with the functions uh, topic itself. Uh, we had seen the basics of functions, what do you mean by a function and uh, how to uh, declare the functions or, or uh, what are the uh, three components in a user defined function because this module actually we are dealing with the user defined functions right we are more uh, we are more lead, um, sorry we are mostly dealing with the user defined functions so i taught you uh, what is that uh, library function and this user defined function then we had seen what are the three components in user defined function so as how you declare a variable even this functions needs to be declared okay that where you are declaring function declaration is immediately after the header file you are going to declare the function after that you can have the main function and then you can define the function that is called as function definition what that particular function is going to perform for you that you need to give that is called as function definition and inside the main function you will be calling this particular function to perform that task so that is called as function call so the three major components in a user defined functions are function declaration function definition and then function call okay these are the three component that comes under sorry uh, that comes under the uh, user defined functions right then we also discussed regarding the actual parameters and the uh, formal parameters what do you mean by actual parameters and what do you mean by formal parameters okay now today we will we are going to discuss uh, the location of functions and also uh, the types okay types of user defined function based on the parameters and all so we will start with those location of functions is the first thing see where exactly you have to define the function because uh, yesterday in my the in the video you had seen you, uh, initially we are giving the header file then we are giving the function declaration then we are giving the main function after after closing the main function you are defining the function so now we will see there are different ways you can put this function in the program okay so the location of function refers to the placement of the function definition with reference to the main function okay see in our program we always have this main function right we always have this main function yes or no you have this main function right because uh, okay so always we do have this main function clear so this is the main function that we have and with respect to this main function where you are supposed to uh, so where you are going to give or where you are supposed to put this function definition which is that function definition this one okay so there is main function and there is function definition based on we are based on this main function where you are going to put this function definition that is what we are going to discuss okay so there are three ways that you can put fine so there are three ways to place a function in a program there are three ways to place function in program where and only can keep this function in the program we'll see that we are starting with the first type that is type 1 that is placing a function definition first followed by the entire main program so what you are going to keep first you are going to keep first the function definition understood what is function definition please go through the previous video uh, in order to learn about the basics of functions okay so placing a function definition so first you will be placing the function definition see always header files comes first after that's what what we are telling okay placing a function definition first followed by the main program so first function definition then the main program but in the previous video and all you can see normally how we are doing first the main program then the function definition so this type is saying to put function definition first and then the main program so in this case defining or declaring function prototype can be omitted omitted means you can leave it okay so in this case defining or declaring function prototype function prototype in the sense function declaration 
So first what comes first you have to give hash include and function declaration it is option. Okay optional it is hash include header file is there. Header file is mandatory that you have to give hash include uh, this thing and after that you have if, if you want you can give a function decla declaration otherwise it is optional. Why? Because immediately after the header file before the main program itself you are giving the function body function body means function definition so before the main program itself you are going to define the function body or this function definition so it is not mandatory that you have to give the declaration otherwise normally how we give first header file function declaration main function then function definition but here function definition comes before main function okay the main program is the main function clear We'll see one example it's to add two numbers using function. So what you'll write first, first is hash include studio.h. After that, which is this type? Placing function definition first, right? So it is clearly given when you're placing function definition first, declaration is optional. Function declaration is optional. So how it will be? First is studio.h. Then comes int add int a comma int b this is function declaration it is optional so this is a command line okay so the double slash whatever i am writing this command line it's only if you want you can write it so this is a function declaration but it is optional why it is optional because you are going to define it how will you define it the return type function name parameter list but there is no semicolon this function definition so you have to put the curly bracket and start defining what exactly this function is going to perform clear what exactly this function is going to perform that is what you want to give okay um, so you can see here the, the uh, so which is the function name this is the function name add is the function name which are the par parameters see uh, int a int b so now we'll give in sum this is because this particular function definition is going to explain what this function is going to perform what is the function name add add is the function name so what exactly this add is going to perform so we need to find the sum of two numbers int a int b parameters are already given parameters means this will contain the values So sum equal to a plus b. Please students again inside this you don't have to give int a comma int b because already we gave it along with the function. Is it clear? It is just like how you write the main function. This is another function add which you have declared above. It is another function add which is going to perform some functionality. What is the functionality? It needs to find the sum. So int a int b is already given here. So only int sum is required. Sum equal to a plus b. Then what? return sum return sum to the calling function clear okay then comes our main function understood so this much part had come first okay this was done first then comes your main function what is in the main function in the main function do i have to declare all this again nothing right because i will get the value this sum will be returned to here so i need to find only one variable to hold it so i'll give in c okay now what why this a and b is required when you are calling this function see this is function definition or uh, listen properly students when you are defining a function you are defining like what it is supposed to do so any value any two values can be given those two value has to be passed through this a and b that's it so then it is calculating the sum and it will just give return sum. So whoever calls this particular function, okay, whoever calls this particular function add will perform this functionality and it will be returned. Okay, the result will be returned. We'll see here in C a equal to 10, b equal to 10 and I am calling the function add with a and b. So what is the value of a? A, a, uh, sorry, A's value is 10, B's value is 20. So here when exactly this happens, okay, when this particular line comes, it is like, I'll give printf sum is percentage D C. Okay, now listen properly. Whenever your program executed starts from the main function, it comes to this line in C A equal to 10, B equal to 20. 
Then comes c equal to add of a comma b. It is like it is understood that it is a function. So what it will do? The program will immediately when the program is ex is executing in this line. Understood? The execution starts from here, the main function. So first line is done. The next line comes here. C equal to add of a comma b. What is there in a? 10. What is there in b? 20. So it is like add 10 comma 20. Or else you can ask the user also to enter these values. Okay. Here I have here I have directly given. So a equal to 10, b equal to 20. So a will be having the value 10, b will be having the value 20. So add a comma b. So what happens here is the control will be immediately given to the place where the function is defined clear it will be given over here is it clear everyone it will be given over here the control will be given over here fine then what happens this a and b has the value 10 20 10 will be passed here 20 will be passed here so it is like int at 10 comma 20 so sum is equal to 10 plus 20 sum will get the value 30 and return sum to where it should return this return sum will return its value to here okay to this line that is add a comma b will give 30 that will be stored in c is it clear understood so return sum means it will come and it will give over here then printing the sum so the execution is over here this function is performing some functionality so wherever in your any of your programs if you are writing a such a big program and if you have defined a function like this in all this program wherever you want to add two numbers you can just call this add fine okay this is like c program to add two numbers so in this type where did we keep our function definition before main function clear first it was function definition then it was main function fine type 2 in this type the body of function that is function definition are placed after the main program so listen everyone if you are defining the function after the main program then here one has to place the function prototype statement well before the main function program appearance in order to assist c compiler for type checking and function call location with respect to uh, function definition so whenever you have a function definition after the main program you can give it but make it uh, man, uh, make it mandatory that function declaration is mandatory is it clear function declaration is mandatory fine function declaration is mandatory so now we'll see that same program std.h this is mandatory okay this particular step remember this is very important you have to declare this is called as function declaration clear this is called as function declaration so in int add int a comma b this is function declaration is mandatory why because first we are giving the main function understood so first we are doing main function then what, what comes in main function again in c a equal to b equal to 20 c equal to add of a comma b and then print up sum is percentage t c so what happens here a has a value 10 b has a value 20 i need to perform the sum but i'll just call the function add a comma b so when add a comma b is executing where it will go it will go to this function definition part is it clear it will directly the control will be given when this line comes the control will be directly given here is it clear everyone it will be given over here okay c equal to add a comma b means control will be given here what is the value of a 10 what is the value of b 20 okay so in this this is the actual parameters because in the main function they are only getting the values whereas in the function definition they are not getting the actual values okay i'm um, sorry in the function definition they are getting the they are getting the actual values okay it is like actual parameter is passing the values to the formal parameters then again it comes sum after that sum equal to a plus b then what print return sum so what so where it will return understood this see these kinds of variables is of your choice one only thing is function name what you give in the uh, declaration part okay this is the declaration part this is the function call and this is the function definition everywhere it should be same that's it okay so sum equal to a plus b return somewhere it will return 
it will return the sum over here okay it will return the sum over here so once that sum is returned to this line c will get the result then print up sum is percentage d comma c okay so this is how it is being performed how the sum is calculated fine okay now this is so this is which type which type it was it was uh, to mm, okay so this was to a uh, type 2 where you are declaring the function main program comes before the function definition so function definitions comes next okay so function definition so first main program comes then function definition comes so whenever that add this is a function call whenever function call comes with the parameter values it should automatically shift its um give uh, shift to the function definition part so that comes in type 2 fine then comes type 3 okay type 3 so here the function body is placed in one file and the main program with function prototypes in another file so what you are going to do is your function body function body means for example in the previous program this is a function body in this one this is a function body so this function body will be kept in separate header file how do you like how you write stdio.h same way here what you are going to write you are going to have a, or you are going to have a file called as add.h and what will be there in this add.h you can define some function i am defining one function in addition index comma in by function definition int s that is was calculating the sum sum a equal to s equal to x plus um yeah in, oh, sorry uh, first so you will define the function which is a function this is of your choice okay you can have this uh, function name that you can select function name so once function name is selected give the parameter value so this is called as function definition int s s equal to x plus y then return s so return statement to the to return the sum s so now this is the function and this is what you have this is what you have in add dot h correct this is what you have in add dot h okay which one this function this function is stored in add dot h same like how i taught you that print up scan up and all print up and scan up and all will be stored in which one in one header files right the print up scan up and all will be stored in uh the stdio dot h so same way here this there is a function called as addition which i have stored in add dot h okay so this is what it means so now you can see in the file our normal file c file you will write hash as uh, hash include stdio dot h and instead of declaring the function handle void what you will do hash include add dot h clear hash include add dot h this, the, this header file will contain the function definition which function see this one in addition we have one function general function normally we will write it in our program but here what we did we wrote this function and we saved it in one header file add dot h and here in the program i am um, i am including that as well as include add dot h and then comes normal because anyhow do we have to do, uh, do we have to again define the function no function definition is already there in that header file add dot h so i just have to do hash include add dot h void main then int n1 n2 comma sum print up under the values of two numbers read it and then sum equal to addition of n1 comma n2 it is calling the function addition of n1 comma n2 then print up sum is equal to percentage d slash n sum okay it is continuing the um, so, uh, so it is going to calculate the sum fine then close it now when sum is equal to addition of n1 comma n2 this particular addition is saved in which folder three it is there in which header file it is defined in this header file create uh, sorry, clear so this particular addition according to your um, this thing um, this header file it will perform the functionalities okay that adding to numbers and then returning the sum 
fine so this is how you are making use of it so what are the three ways that you can do this one is you can put the function definition before the main function if you are putting the function definition before the main function it is not mandatory that you have to use this header file okay it is not um, not header file it is not mandatory for you to use that uh, declaration function declaration you can have the main, uh, first main function then you can have the function definition but whereas in the other way um, you okay so the type one uh, function declaration was not required because you had main function uh, sorry in the type one uh the function declaration was optional because you were defining the function first and then the main function in second type the function definition comes after the main function so in the second type function definition comes after the main function so in that time function declaration is mandatory you have you should have function declaration then the main function then the function definition what is there in type 3 in type 3 you are having the function definition in a separate header file and you are you are going to just include the header file but this rarely will be using it here what we will be using that the uh, sorry the second type okay that is what we will be using throughout fine so, uh, so this is how the to determine now this is how we can determine the location of this um, the where you have to keep this functions okay Uh, where where uh, which are the location that you can keep the function so there are three ways either before the main function in that case function declaration is optional other ways you can keep the function definition after the main function in that case function declaration is important and then the last type is you are having the function definitions everything in which file in a, in a separate header file and then you can include it in your program okay so these are the three ways three uh three ways or uh, the three locations of functions okay three ways you can store the function so next we will see the um types of functions based on parameters in the next video thank you